Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have this crop top. It's something a little bit brighter than what we've been used to for the last couple of months. I decided I've enough of winter now. I want a little bit of brightness in my life. So I made this crop top and it's really easy to make. All you need is a weight for yarn, a 4.5 millimeter hook and a five millimeter hook. Don't forget the free pattern is on my blog, crochetwithcarry.com. The yarn I used was Hobby's Mega Ball of Aran. This is a weight for yarn. You can use any yarn you like. You can use an acrylic or a cotton or a wool. It's completely up to you. I used about 200 yards. Now we're going to start off with our 4.5 millimeter hook and we're going to make a chain of 15. Then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and we're going to single crochet into every chain all the way across to the end. At the end of the row chain one and then turn your work, single crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way across and then you're going to repeat this row over and over again until the band is long enough to go around just directly under your bust. And you're going to make sure that the number of rows you have is an even number of rows. So go ahead and make your band long enough to go around your under bust. So once the band is long enough to go around your under bust, we're going to slip stitch the two ends together So once you have your two ends slip stitched together, we're going to turn it the right side out. So go ahead and flip it out. We want our seam in the inside. So now we're going to change our hook. We're going to grab our five millimeter hook. And then we're going to half double crochet all the way around the top edge of the band. So Whatever number of rows you did for the band, for me I did 90, you're going to do that same number of half double crochet all the way around the top edge. So I had 90 rows for the band, I'm going to do 90 half double crochet all the way around. So we're going to chain one, half double crochet into that same space and then continue making half double crochet all the way around. So now I have 90 half double crochet completed. I'm going to slip stitch to that very first half double crochet to close the round. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. This is really important. Make sure that after every row from now on, you turn. So now we are going to slip stitch in every stitch all the way around, but we're going to be working into the back loop of every stitch. So working into that very first stitch, make one slip stitch working into the back loop and then continue making one slip stitch into the back loop of every stitch all the way around. Mm -hmm. 
at the end of the row slip stitch into that very first stitch to close the round. So you're going to repeat those two rows over and over again. You're going to alternate between a row of half double crochets and then a row of slip stitches working into the back loop only. I'd recommend that you count your stitches at the end of every round because it, it really is easy to miss a stitch or maybe add a stitch. So just keep a note of your stitches at the end of every round and make sure that you're turning at the end of every round. That's really important. And you're going to repeat those two rows over and over again until this section covers your bust. So maybe about eight or nine inches you're going to do. So once you're happy with the length of your top, we are going to half the number of stitches we have. So I started off with 90 stitches, half of that is 45, so I'm going to place a stitch marker into the 45th stitch. This section here is going to be our front and we're just going to be working on these stitches. So continuing on from where we are now, we're going to chain one. Then we're going to half double crochet two together, so yarn over, insert your hook into that very first stitch, pull your yarn through. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through. You should have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops. Then we're going to half double crochet into every stitch all the way across until you reach the second stitch from your stitch marker. So here I've reached the second stitch from my stitch marker. So next I'm going to half double crochet two together and you can remove your stitch marker. Then chain one and turn your work. We're going to skip that very first stitch and then into the next stitch make one slip stitch working into the back loop and then slip stitch working into the back loop of every stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. So here I have two stitches left, I'm going to skip the next stitch and then into that last stitch make one slip stitch working into the back loop only. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to repeat these two rows over and over again until you're happy with the width across your neck. I kept going until I had about 19 stitches left but it's completely up to you. So once you're happy with the width across your neck, we're going to start working on our straps. So continuing on from where we are now, we're going to chain one, single crochet into that same stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. So we have two single crochets. Then we're going to chain one and then turn our work. We're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this until you have about 18 rows. This is going to be half the length of the strap you need. So if you need to add more rows or less rows, just go ahead and do what suits you. Once you have your desired number of rows, we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail.
For the other strap we're going to count two stitches in, attach our yarn to that second stitch Then insert your hook, pull your yarn through chain one, single crochet into that same stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to chain one, turn our work, make two single crochet and you're going to repeat that until this strap is the same length as your other strap. Then you're going to fasten off and leave a long tail. So now we have the front of our top finished, it's now time to start working on the back of our top. So the back of the top is done the same way as the front. We're going to start by turning it over and then right at the corner we are going to attach our yarn. We're going to attach our yarn to, to the next available stitch and then we're going to start working from here. So once your yarn is attached, insert your hook, pull your yarn through and then chain one. Then we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, pull your yarn through, then yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, you should have five loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through all five loops. Then you're going to half double crochet into every stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. Here I have two stitches left so here I'm going to half double crochet two together. Chain one and turn your work. Skip that very first stitch, then slip stitch in the back loop of the next stitch and then continue placing one slip stitch into the back loop of every stitch until two stitches remain. Here I have two stitches left so we're going to skip the next stitch and then slip stitch into the back loop of the next stitch. And you're going to go ahead and repeat these two rows over and over again until you have the same number of stitches left as the front side of your top and then you're going to make your, your straps the, the very same way as you did for the front side. So when you have the back side of your top completed, we are just going to stitch our straps together, just use a yarn needle. So now we're going to attach our yarn here at the corner and we're going to single crochet all the way around. So we're going to use our smaller hook, attach your yarn to that corner then insert your hook, pull your yarn through and then chain one. And you're going to single crochet all the way around this armhole and up along the outer edge of our strap 
Make sure that your single crochets aren't too far apart or too close together. So once you've single crocheted all the way around, we're just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet to close the round. Then we're going to chain one. Now we're going to do a row of reverse single crochet. So with regular single crochet, we move forward, but for the reverse single crochet, we go backwards. So we're going to skip the stitch that we are currently in and we're going to move on to the next stitch directly behind. So we're going to work into the next stitch just right here. So insert your hook into that stitch, then pull your yarn through. You now have two loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through two loops. And you're going to continue that all the way around your armhole and the outer edge of your strap. I just realized that you can probably hear my dog Pippin in the background snoring away, living her best life. She's 18 years of age and yeah, she spends most of her day sleeping. As well as that, I have my second dog. He's about 10 feet tall, 10 feet wide, and he is currently on my shoulders. And then just to top all that off, I have my cat on the windowsill meowing away for her dinner. So I completely apologize for any, no any noise that you might hear throughout this video. So getting back to the video, you're just going to continue making your reverse single crochet all the way around your armhole and that outer edge of your strap. Then once you've reached all the way around, you're going to slip stitch to that first stitch and then just fasten off and then you're going to do the same on the other side. Next, you're going to attach your yarn here into the front corner, single crochet across, then continue with single crochet up along the raw edge of your strap, across your back, up along your second strap, and then slip stitch into that first single crochet. Then you're going to chain one, and you're going to reverse single crochet back along all those stitches again, and then you're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet. And then you're going to fasten off and that's your top completed. If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So until next time, take care.